these anointed ones. All right, and who who who, who, is, permitted, who, is, who, who is permitted to be the anointed ones according to all the? You got a chapter and verse for that? Who 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 are the anointed ones? Who are the anointed? Do you have a chapter and verse for that who, where it says what a Christian one, one is? One thing at a time. Who are the anointed okay. ones? Okay, my who, friend. Who? Which, which nation are the anointed? Christ ones? was anointed. Who was no one permitted? Else. Who has the no one else. following the Lord? Christians. Who are they? Those who have faith in Jesus Christ. Who not according to race, not election? according to nationality, sure not according that? yes, absolutely according to the word of God. Are you sure about that? Yeah, well, Ephesians two. Read Ephesians, Ephesians two. two. Speaking of tell them to read Get Ephesians there two. 45, 45 there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them to read Ephesians two. See, that's what the so called white man Esau does, the devil the Bible speaks about. Uh huh, there you go. As a matter of fact, when you read when you read Psalm fifty five, the fifty fifth chapter it said it, it, it reveals the characteristics of Esau Edom. Real quick question. Um, who's allowed to put death upon anyone? God himself, right? Are you sure about that? As, as much as you only him? I, that's what the Bible says, okay, the wiser, wiser, okay, okay, wiser, why is there a book, why is there a book called Judges then? Right. Why is there a book called Judges if the Most High didn't appoint Judges? Right. Answer that. Are you a judge? And who are those Judges? Are you a judge? I guess we are Judges. We are. All right, because we're Israelites. That's right. All right. Friend, the office. You're saying you just cut yourself. You said that the Most High. See how bad this is. Well, he's the Okay, then what about the Lord? What about the only begotten Son? So if I get a Bible and I go out, does that mean he's a part of him? What do you mean he's a part of him? Are you saying that they say you have to be black to be Israelite? God had Jesus. They're the same thing. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? It's the three in one. Are you saying that God? Are you saying that God and Jesus are the same thing? They are the same thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. According according to Christ. Guys, what the Bible says, the, he sent his son to you guys. Flesh. Uh, you go through chapters but speaking oh, oh, common knowledge. Oh, we get that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 25, verse 1. If there be a controversy between men and they come into judgment. Oh, read, read that again. God. If there be controversy between men and they come into judgment, okay. that the judges may judge them. Then they shall My testify friend. the righteous and condemn the wicked. Do you oh, realize? Oh, yeah, Israelites. The, street, right? the Israelites. Get, get first Corinthians. In the Old Testament. Yeah. Corinthians. The nation of Israel. You're not the nation of Israel. The Israelites. Get first Corinthians. In the Old Testament. Yeah. Corinthians. The nation of Israel. You're not the nation of Israel. So, that pretty confirms you don't know the scripture. Have you ever read the New Testament? We don't know. What is it saying in Ezekiel the 28 chapter? Prophesy before the wind. Okay, I'm asking you once more. Does the Most High love everyone? Yes. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, also a sincere shalom to you other elders, your Akim, your brother, and your followers of the faith. Uh, let me say shalom to the elect. Um, this video is actually by Christ in the Wild Ministries, open air preaching. Because that's what they um, are actually doing now to try to come out and bring a new look into the Christianity, the Christian community, if you want to call it that. So he goes out every week, uh, every other week or every other month and does his Christ ministries. Okay, anyway, just going to go into why these Christians don't know the Bible number one because the spirit is not with them to know the Bible and uh, I just want to touch on a couple things he said he said um, he honestly he kept going into what about the New Testament the New Testament and you know I've done videos in the past on um, the situations of the councils of how they made the New Testament and um, St. Jerome of the Vulgate who um you know, did placed words in, in the um, New Testament or whatever in the scriptures, such as Gentile and various other words to universalize the Bible, right? Because the Bible is popular and always have been a popular book, you know? And now that we in the end, um, it's losing popularity amongst certain groups. So. Um, but we're going to speak on the fact that Yahawashi, the one you call Christ, quoted a lot of things out of the Old Testament, which you should know that, okay? And to prove a, what Christ means is just a, um, a follow of, of what you call Christ, Yahawashi, which goes back to Christos, which means an anointed, okay? That's all it means. So anyway... He goes into the book of Ephesians and say, what about Ephesians, right? 
first of all, when you go into a book, you have to go into the beginning of the book to know what the know who, what, and uh, everything the book is talking about. Okay. Uh, let's go to Ephesians one and one. It says, "Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, Yahushua, which we know the followers of Yahushua was Israelites, right?" the will of Yahweh, the saints which we know the saints are the children of Israel okay how do we know that well we'll get that real quick let's go to Psalms 1 was it 148 and 14 he also exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints even uh, of the children of Israel a people near to him praise ye the Lord right so when the brothers was bringing out, I don't know what his brother's camp said, there's so many camps, uh, but when the brothers was bringing out the truth, now obviously, for me sitting behind the, the computer as, as a prophet dealing with these Christians on that level, you know, you can come up with, you know, tons and tons of scriptures, but these guys will try to frustrate you, as the brothers did cook them with the scriptures, and not so much just the scriptures, the words of the Lord, which is the scriptures, but how it's brought out. Sometimes you can read them, and then how you explain it is where it also fuels the cut, so to speak. And um, this guy, you know, he didn't he didn't have it. These Christians, they just don't have it. So the scriptures that they pulled out, we all in one body, so we might have pulled something else. There's brothers on the comment board. Uh, when we have little debates like that they'll be pulling other scriptures because it's so many scriptures that come against false Christi Christ Christianity false Christian doctrine right so anyway when you go to Ephesians 1 and 1 Paul an apostle of Yahweh by the will of Yahweh to the saints which are at Ephes Ephesus who's those saints? those are Israelites why? what was the whole point of the ministry? the mission? To go wake up the ones who didn't know that they were Israelites. Wasn't to go wake up everybody. So all of a sudden the New Testament just flipped. Right? Uh, and as you see in the Old Testament with strangers. A lot of times I was talking about Israelites as well. You got to remember that we have lost our heritage. We was uh, uh, living in borders of other lands. Even in other lands as we are today. Okay, and we followed uh, the other doctrines. And then some of us knew we was Israelites, but we spoke Greek. Okay, and we we followed some of the Greek customs, but we knew we was Israelites. Now that's clear in um, Acts, um, I believe the sixth chapter. When you go into the word uh, Grecian, those are... Israelites, Jews who made Greek their tongue or followed the Greek language. Okay, just to put it in a nutshell. So we go back to Ephesians 2. So we understand that he was talking about the brethren. We'll get to that too. Ephesians 2 and um, 11. It says, Where, Wherefore remember that ye being in the times past Gentiles in the flesh. Why do you say to past Gentiles in the flesh? Because we wanted to be Greeks. We was Hellenized. We was following the Greek culture, right? Who are called uncircumcised by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at times past ye were without Yahweh, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, right? And strangers, here's that word, from the covenant of the promise, right? Is this talking about is this talking about uh, just anybody? Anybody with strangers from the covenant of the promise? Right? When you look at the covenant of the promise, the covenant of the promise with the Israelites, but you cannot be delivered, right? You, can, you will not be delivered if you don't know who you are. Right? Having no hope and without God, without Yahweh in the world. But now in, in Yahweh, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh. So even in this man and his system, 
somebody makes an attack on his soil he's not going to jump up and say you know what let's all be one let's all get together it's only in fairy tale land that these people say what they say Yahweh Yahweh Shah isn't that way either you reap what you sow right he chose who he chose and that's just what it is one further proof let's go to 1 Corinthians 12 and 1 now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I will not have you ignorant ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols even as ye were led so it says brethren knowing that ye were Gentiles this precepts the Ephesians the second, uh, the second chapter 11 verse wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh we come back over here to 1 Corinthians 12 um, was it 1 Corinthians 12 I would have you not ignorant that ye were Gentiles right carried away into these dumb idols right so we also go into brethren what does brethren mean right brethren brethren means G I don't know where I'm at brethren it says here a brother it says a brother well let me go on back because I got to see where it is um, G80 okay a, uh, it's got many different definitions one, two, three, four, five in Romans right Roman num Roman numerals this is why you got to apply the proper context to the definition a brother whether born of the same two parents or of the same father and mother okay because that's one you know earthly fleshly brother right then you have number two having the same national ancestor belonging to the same people or countrymen right it's also a brother and then you go on to three because it all breaks down of what you can call brethren but you know you would go to the one that applies the best because those would be the first ones on the books a fellow man a fellow believer united to another by the bond of affection and associated employment office brethren in Yahawasha right his brothers by blood all men apostles Christians as those who are exalted in the same heavenly place so we can clearly see that you have brethren and then you have brethren who don't know that they're brethren right who will be exalted who will be grafted in and become brethren okay along with the brethren that's why he said you were brethren he said brethren ye were Gentiles now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I would have not have you ignorant not knowing ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto dumb idols you can also see this, this in Tobit 13 and 3 when it says that um, we were scattered amongst the Gentiles right so you had Gentiles again going back to the history of St. Jerome in fact when you go to the very old Bibles outside of the King the KJV they didn't even use the word Gentile it was more so heathen right or non-believer or unbeliever those are the words that was originally in the scriptures and then through universal practice they put this word Gentile which simply mean uh, uh, unbeliever or stranger right because that's all it really meant one of those placement words so anyway the, um, I just want to touch on that um, we go over this thing time and time again whenever you go into these books that Paul writes when he says uh, for instance um, um, Herodian my kinsman or something like that you know it's according to the spirit right to the flesh right and in order to be connected in spirit when you're connected in the spirit you're automatically connected in the flesh right so let's go to Romans 9 and 1 uh, this has probably been the last scripture I would have pulled out on of Romans 9 and 1 I say truth I say the truth in Yahweh shall I lie not my conscience also bear me witness to the Holy Ghost that I will have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart 
for I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh for my brethren it says it right here and a lot of times these scriptures will say it back to back they'll bring other words in there to let you know this is clearly talking about the flesh my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh so if we read back if we go back here to 1 Corinthians when it says um, where is it Romans what is it? Ephesians actually when we go back to Ephesians that was also uh, the thing that was being said when you go back to Ephesians when it talked about the brethren uh, in the flesh okay we can see right here in Ephesians 2 and 11 wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh so we go back over here to Romans it says I lie not my conscience also bear me witness to the Holy Ghost that I have great and continual heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ Yahweh for my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites which we go back to Ephesians the second chapter to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of the promises uh, services of Yahweh and the promises who are the fathers and whom concerning the flesh concerning the flesh who of whom as concerning the flesh Yahweh came so this is synonymous when you talk about the flesh right you have the spirit and you have the spirit of the flesh right who is all who is over all Yahweh blessed forever says Aman or so let it be and that's it we can keep reading and if you keep reading it just goes into Jacob and Esau he quotes the story over again that some may have been out of that uh, line but guess what the, the, uh, the promise was given to Jacob right um, even out of uh, uh, Abraham you know had uh, Isaac and Jacob right and his his lineage so it's clear cut the most high wanted everybody to love one another and be with one another and all nations to be saved and all nations to be blessed then guess what he would have done it long time ago he just changed his mind on the New Testament right anyway uh, that's all I have on that show